All right, we were at section 18.3, the constant volume gas thermometer. And let's share the uh, PowerPoint. And um, we, we have a, a flask with a, uh, um, a gas under pressure. And, uh, and notice this is called the constant volume gas thermometer. So uh, inside the, the, um, the ice bath, you, you adjust the, uh, the flask B to where it's at some reference point we call zero. We know that that's, um, uh, you know, some point that we want. We know that that's the, you know, it's a, a constant volume. So we set the, adjust it where we want the volume that, uh, that we desire. And uh, we know that the pressure at that point is given by uh, the pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure, P0 plus rho GH. Uh, where rho is the density of the mercury, g is gravitational acceleration, and h is the height of the column. Uh, so then we put the uh, we put the gas in in uh, 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 you know boiling boiling water with you know the uh, at 100 degrees C. We put it in there. The gas is going to expand, uh, but we uh, adjust the the column to where we make it the, a constant volume and it's gonna be at a new pressure. And we, uh, we measure that pressure and that's at 100. And we have this linear uh, line, this line that's when we go to, uh, we put this in different environments and we adjust the, uh, the column B to, to, so that it has the same volume, we'll, will get a new pressure and by the pressure we can um, calculate the the de degrees well let's say we use three different gases um and you know we get these three uh lines trial one trial two trial three for all three trials the uh the pressure extrapolates to zero at the temperature of minus 273.15 all of them will go down to this uh absolute zero point, which is minus 273.15 degrees C. Um, the, uh, so we know that the, that the Celsius temperature is equal to the absolute temperature um, minus 273.15. Uh, so uh, the, here's some typical um, uh, values for the absolute scale. Notice that it's logarithmic. Uh, the lowest temperature achieved, we've never gotten exactly to uh, absolute zero, but we've gotten close. The lowest temperature achieved experimentally is, is uh, 10 to the minus nine Kelvin. So it's nano Kelvin. Um, and you, know, you can see liquid helium, liquid nitrogen, liquid hydrogen, uh, water freezes. Uh, you can see these, these values on this scale. Now here's a bunch of different uh, uh, thermometers. The the Celsius temperature is equal to absolute temperature minus 273.15. Um, the Fahrenheit to convert between Fahrenheit and Celsius, you take um, the Fahren the uh, Celsius temperature multiplied by nine point uh, nine divided by five, which is 1.8 uh, plus 32 degrees. So let's just say zero degrees C. Um, times nine, nine divided by five, well, it's still zero, plus the 32 gives you uh, what we know is the freezing point, 32 degrees. Um, so zero C is 32 degrees F, and you can do it for some of those others, like the body temperature, 97, uh, and you'll, uh, I mean, 37 uh, C, you'll get 98.6, give it a try. And now the, the relative, uh, just a delta a change in temperature, uh, since the absolute temperature is based on the same gradation as the Celsius temperature, a five degree increase in Celsius temperature equals a five degree increase in Kelvin temperature. But to get the increase in Fahrenheit, it's five ninths. Um, uh, it, it's a, a increase of five ninths. Uh, okay, so let consider the following. Um, 
consider the following uh, pairs of materials. Which pair represents two materials, one of which is twice as hot as the other? Uh, boiling water at 100 degrees, a glass of water at 50. Well, that's, we're not taking that into consideration. Uh, boiling water at 100, frozen methane at 50. Well, that's, that's still not quite. But let's look at an ice cube at minus 20 and flames from a circus eater at 233. Well, if we convert those to Kelvin, we'll see that the, the, uh, an ice cube at minus 20 is two, 253 Kelvin and flames from a circus fire uh, eater at 233. If we add 273, we get 506. Well, 253 and 506, 506 is double 253. So it's C. Uh, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, uh, the correct answer. And there, next we'll go to thermal expansion.